Hello tankers! In today's episode of the Vlog, we'll share with you a little bit of news about the new turrets that are currently in development. We'll also review the new balance changes and give you a preview of what you can expect for this Halloween's festivities. Some time ago we told you about our plans to create two new turrets. Many of you were excited about this, but now a question is starting to come up. Where are these new turrets? Why aren't they ready yet? So let's clear this up. The first time we spoke about these new turrets was during our tanky meetups in Yerevan and Tbilisi. But at that point in time, we were still at the very early stages of planning. Now, as you can imagine, creating a new turret takes a ton of work. Right now, our programmers are in the coding stage for the new turret codenamed Rocket Launcher. There's still a lot of ground to be covered, but we can share some details with you about how it will work. The Rocket Launcher will have four barrels. Pressing the spacebar will fire a rocket in a straight line from one of the barrels. Here's where it gets interesting. When holding down the spacebar, a laser beam similar to one on shaft will appear. By pointing this laser beam towards an enemy, waiting for it to lock on and releasing the spacebar, the rocket launcher will fire four homing missiles that will try to find and destroy the targeted enemy. Of course, this rocket can be avoided, especially by light hulls. But even if an enemy manages to avoid the shot, the rockets will still deal splash damage to any tank that is close enough to where they explode. We've been working hard on improving the tanky client and we're now ready to share some good news with you. It is now possible to refresh the client by pressing the F5 key on your keyboard just like when using a browser. So, if you're in a battle and you get disconnected due to a critical error, all you need to do is refresh the client. This will return you to the battle while preserving all of your battle achievements. A few weeks ago we announced a series of changes to the game's balance. Many of you expressed your opinions and some even managed to try out these changes in the test server. But now the changes are actually in the game, so let's have a look at some of the things that have changed and how. As announced, all M3 equipment is now unlocked at the rank of Marshal. This has affected a number of things, one of them being the price of such equipment. For example, M3 Firebird, which used to be available at the rank of Commander, is now available two ranks earlier. Because of this, its price has gone down by almost 43,000 crystals. Of course, this doesn't apply to all equipment. Some turrets and hulls have become more expensive as a result of the changes in rank requirements. Izira is one of those turrets that has had its minimum rank requirement raised from Brigadier to Marshal, and its price has gone up to 235,600 crystals. The balance changes have affected the parameters of practically all turrets and hulls. For a full explanation of why these changes have been implemented, you can check out episode 108 of the Vlog. There's also a complete and comprehensive list of all changes on the wiki. You can find links to the Vlog and Wiki article in this Vlog's description. This update has also allowed us to bring back a special battle format that was very popular between 2009 and 2012, the Dictator and Rail format. You can now organize your own Dictator and Rail battles by selecting the respective option in the battle creation screen. In the Dictator and Rail format, Railgun is automatically equipped with an alteration that increases its damage and slows down its reload speed. This gives it a 92% chance of two-shotting a Dictator. Another cool feature that has been rolled out with this release is visible damage counters. This feature will come in very handy in quite a few situations. Damage counters will be a great help in format battles. If a player's first shot has dealt little damage, he or she will probably need another two shots to make the kill. Ricochet users will also find it helpful, because it will allow them to find out whether they've managed to hit that sneaky tank hiding around the corner. Also, damage counters for kill shots will be red. This will help players know for sure whether it was them who landed the killing shot or someone else. One more advantage is that tankers with short-range turrets will be able to see how the damage decreases over distance, helping them to better understand how the turret works. Now, here are a couple of questions that you've been asking us on the forum. Can other players see my damage counters? No, your damage counters will only be visible to you. Nobody, not even your teammates, will be able to see how much damage you're dealing to your opponents. I don't like having distractions on screen. Can I turn off this feature? 
Yes, of course. If for some reason you do not want to see how much damage your turret is dealing, you can turn this feature off in the options screen. The update has also brought a couple of other changes. Self-destruct time has now been reduced from 10 seconds to 5 seconds, which means you'll be able to get back into the action a lot faster. Additionally, the time between equipment changes has been increased from 1 minute to 5 minutes. So make sure you log into the game and check out all the new features and changes that this update has brought with it. And don't forget that right now we're also running a 30% sale on supplies plus 50% extra battle funds. There's no better time to blow up some enemies in the arena. Video of the week. Last week we asked you to create a video on the theme I'm playing an XP BP battle wearing the white paint. Let's watch the winning entry. For next week, the theme is How I Spent Halloween with Tanky Online. Have fun with it and remember, your imagination is the limit. Well, tankers, we've already said a lot in this vlog, but we've really saved the best for last. It's time to pull the skeletons out of the closet and tell you all about what you can expect for this year's Tanky Halloween festivities. First of all, we need to set the atmosphere so we'll have special themed decorations for maps with spooky bushes and trees, billboards and even a Halloween themed gold box. Next, we want you to spread the Halloween spirit so we'll have a special in-game gift to share with your fellow tankers. For those tankers who want to go on some trick or treating fun, we've also got two Halloween festive paints. One is a regular holiday paint. The great news is that it will be possible to buy this paint for crystals and keep it forever. The premium paint will be available to buy in the shop as part of a special holiday bundle together with 7 days of premium time, supplies and crystals. And what's cool is that the festivities will last for a whopping 8 days. But that's not all. For a full 48 hours on the 29th and 30th of October, we'll be having a special Halloween map, on which gold boxes will be dropping 5 times as often. There will also be special missions on this map. They'll be more challenging than normal missions, but they'll bring bigger and better rewards. And no, we have not forgotten about discounts. We'll be having a sale of 31% off modules, paints, hulls and turrets. You can find more details about this on the homepage. So get ready to experience 8 terrific days of Halloween and Tanky Online starting from Monday, October 24th. That's it for this week's vlog. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to stay up to date on all the hot news that's coming in the next few weeks. See ya! Last week we showed you twins equipped with an alteration and asked you to guess how many shots it would need to destroy the wasp. The correct answer is 13. Let's meet our winners and watch the next question.